at the 315 eastbound out here going by uh, just a quick add 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 them add on add on them add this add any whatever the word is if you are putting two of these bottoms together in an engine to match up your bearing housings you actually can use these bottom halves if you drill a hole in the center here underneath the uh, grease cup and you can use two bottoms uh, to uh, you, you don't have to have this top if you have two good halves the subject for today head gaskets head gaskets this happens to be a store-bought gasket uh, this one uh, that's a three horsepower McCormick Darren M made by International Harvester and this is a uh, I ordered this gasket it is a real good quality gasket but the, but the problem is this gasket costs about eight dollars some shipping you know um, you know eight or nine dollars you know um, it's uh, kind of pricey for me it's kind of out of my price range so the alternative if I can uh, tell it to you is uh, up at my parts store and this one uh, this is uh, let's see this is um, this is also a uh, store-bought gasket those are the same that's store-bought this is a uh, this is igniter model and this is a spark plug model that's how much difference they are in those store bought run you about eight dollars seven fifty eight dollars according to where you buy it throw some shipping on that you know you got a high price gasket I'm not against buying things when someone has something for sale uh, for one of these engines you know buy you one uh, see what somebody else did it's it's a good lesson to learn uh, lay you in some store bought head gaskets I'm not saying to use them the alternative if you put the micrometer on these store-bought gaskets and, uh, and, 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 and and decide what material they're made out of okay at my local parts store I purchased this piece of head a piece of gasket material that's on laying here that's how big it is it's uh, it's uh, what 12 by 24 okay that, that piece of that piece of gasket material cost less than $15 it was $14 in some sense with tax less than 15 bucks was that piece of gasket material okay I have laid out here some gaskets that's a one and a half igniter one and a half igniter one and a half spark plug three horsepower M and a three horsepower M okay I have I have ample room to spare and also here I have about a four by five piece and down here about a uh, five by five over there a section and this this is good material to make an igniter gasket out of and I did put I put the micrometer and this is another piece I've got this happens to be a new piece but if you put the micrometer on there it max out at 62.5 on the thousands there which uh, you know what that's about a sixteenth of an inch thick it's a good it's a good quality gasket less than 15 bucks for a foot by two and I'm going to get one two three four I'm going to get five gaskets out of that so you know you do the math on how much it's going to cost me with some material left over uh, I guess the point I'm making is uh, you know it's a good choice to make your own gaskets they are available 
the gaskets are available and I, from several suppliers. Uh, by all means, buy you one, but you know if you're going to use one, make it. Uh, I do. I do. Uh, well, I've beat around the bush long enough on that making that gasket, and there is an easy way to do that. Let's get right over there. This is the store-bought one, and if you put that gasket on there, this happens to be a spark plug head. It's a little loose right there. It don't fit just right. You know, it's a little loose. And this particular one right here, it's perfectly round. This is perfectly round. Don't matter where you put it at, it comes out the same. So if you put on there, you and the holes are good. It's it's a nice gasket, good usable gasket. I, I am not saying anything bad about this gasket at all. It's very good. It costs about eight dollars. The, uh, the 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 point is, when you put this gasket on the engine and you bolt it down and tighten everything, then over here you're going to have some metal where that head was bigger than the gasket is, and then up here you're going to have the gasket bigger than the head. So it just it uh, they very seldom ever fits the point I'm making. When you make a gasket. And and when I make a gasket, I leave it proud on the outside to the point of not even making an attempt to make it fit. And I advise you to do also. But you can see this is a really, really good fit on the inside right there. Really good. And when you turn it around, the it's, it's no gap. Fits perfectly around there. The holes are perfectly because they were... They were made with the ball peen hammer on the head, so they have to be a good fit. A good fit. And like I say, I did leave it proud all the way around. Once I get it bolted up, tightened down, I will take a sharp blade and go around and trim it to fit. That way I've got 100% coverage. And also, head gaskets. Uh, you, uh, to put an engine together... Any most any gasket, uh, <laughs> most any gasket. 